Welcome back to the Smugsy Show. I'm Smugsy, your host, identifying as the Barstool Cougar. My pronouns are first and third person. Each week, you can meet me here to explore an exciting topic at the intersection of sports, business, and politics. This week, the topic is presidents, two presidents, President Trump, Donald Trump, President of the United States, and Dave Portnoy, the president of Barstool Sports, El Presidente. You could say these two men are like peas in a pod. They speak the same language. All caps, all the time, barking gibberish on Twitter. They have a bromance. It started online, but then there was a date, a very public date, when Dave Portnoy met President Trump at the White House. I think it's safe to bet that Dave Portnoy might be President Trump's only friend left. And there's exciting opportunities that I think we can expect in the coming days between now and the election. Dave Portnoy could save America. He could save America by guiding the Trump plane. Imagine for a minute that the president is on like a bomber plane at night in a hurricane and the plane is like going like this um, and it looks like he might have a crash landing and Dave Portnoy's in the back guiding him guiding him to a place of safety after he loses the election instead of crashing and burning Donald Trump rises like a phoenix at Barstool Radio Dave Portnoy secures a big deal with Sirius XM lands a contract for the president to provide content make Barstool Radio great again. I mean, let's face it, besides Barstool Breakfast with Large and Willie Cologne, the Barstool Radio is hurting. And what else could Dave squeeze from the president between now and then? Well, we saw him already move the stock market, right? Trump said, no way, Jose, on stimulus. And so the stock market went like this. Portnoy says, Essentially, um, Mr. President, um, you know, that was a dumb thing to do. So Trump eases off. The stock market's going up. It's like a fusillade of tweets causing this frenetic market that I think Portnoy can navigate with Trump and come out smelling like roses. So there's a deal in the works. I'm happy about it. I mean, what's not to, what's not to like? Penn stock could go soaring into the stratosphere and the trajectory of Dave Portnoy's star is the rest is still unwritten as our girl Natasha Bedingfield might say so watch this space I mean you heard it here I think there's going to be a deal there's going to be a deal and um, and you know what else there's going to be there's going to be COVID resistant American made babies manufactured right here in the United States if if the president will deregulate the FDA because, and this ties into the next topic, which is Cougars of the Week. I'm very pleased to announce that two scientists this week, Emmanuel Chapentier from France, a microbiologist, and Jennifer Dauda, a, um, some kind of scientist. Let's see, she is a... Um, Jennifer Dowda is a biochemist. So these two won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry today. The Academy of Sciences in Stockholm awarded them this very distinguished honor. And what they created is the CRISPR. It's it's like, you know, those shears you use if you're going to snip your garden. Um, and it's like that, except instead of trimming and snipping plants, you edit genes, you snip the genome, and you make, you know, adjustments to the DNA. So gene editing uh, is what the CRISPR does, and the potential is huge. We could make COVID-resistant babies and manufacture them here in on our soil, not in, not in China, because right now the only gene-edited baby was made in China. And that scientist who create, made that baby to resist the AIDS infection. He did not get the Nobel Prize. He's in jail. Yeah, in jail in China. So make 
make American COVID resistant babies here in America using the CRISPR. If Donald Trump can get that done, then it could be a nice way to end his four years. Um, so I just want to just present some positive, some po- you know, some positive outcomes of the um, landslide expected, and um, in the November election. And again, my congratulations to Cougars of the Week, Emmanuel Chapantier and Jennifer Dowda. Um, last week's poll question: Should the Smugsy Show feature cougar nudes? Well. Thank you to all the fans who participated. And not surprisingly, 90% said yes. Yes, please. And um, so watch here. There'll be an exclusive Cougar Nude content platform developing shortly, and I'll keep you posted. Um, This week's poll question is, when Donald Trump loses the election, should Barstool Sports give him a very, very big contract to host Sirius XM Radio. Yes, no, other. Go to at Smugsy Girl on Twitter and answer the poll question or leave a comment here on the YouTube channel. Um, An announcement, an exciting announcement, and some of you may have heard that I handed the keys to the Smugsy Sassy server on Discord over to everyone's dear friend, John from Scranton. I have faith that he's going to really kind of move, just move the Discord server in into the the next generation. So I think it's now called Smugsy's Dungeon. Um, go there, check it out. We're going to have a dance party in support of Kirk Minahan Show survivors, and it's going to be so fun. You... It's easy. You just find your favorite song, you record, you turn it up, and then you make a video of yourself jamming and dancing, dancing it out. So Kirk Minahan Show Survivors, friends of Kirk Minahan Show Survivors, please go to the Smugsy Dungeon Discord and and submit a video. Let's do it. It's, It's fun. It's wholesome. It's healthy. And it's exclusively here on the Smugsy Show. So it's been really great spending this time with you. Keep an eye on the two presidents, the two peas in a pod. We'll get through it. You, me, here on the Smugsy Show. Until next time, this is Smugsy signing off. Take care. <laughs>